Someone call Leonardo DiCaprio. There's a bear that needs taming. I'm Kate, and this is your GameSpot News Update. Back in 2014, nearly 4,000 people contributed more than $100,000 for a game in which you would play as a bear. The game, creatively titled Bear Simulator, was developed and finally released in full just last month on Steam. Now its developer, John Farge, is calling it quits, announcing this week that he's planning one more update, then walking away. Well, the game didn't have a great reception, has a stigma against its name, and there's plenty of other problems, so making any updates or going further is basically a lost cause now, he said in an update to the game's Kickstarter page. Farge said he was hoping the game's Steam release in February 2016 would go well, but says it came up short. Right now, the game has a mostly positive rating on the PC gaming platform. However, Farge said he maybe should have only released it for backers and not through Steam. According to Kotaku, YouTube's biggest star PewDiePie posted a less-than-enthusiastic video about Bear Simulator, in which he gave the game developer the finger after attempting to get a Steam refund for it. The video, which no longer appears to be available online, attracted more than 2.5 million views. One further update to Bear Simulator will add Kickstarter Island and some additional fixes. Farge says he plans to continue to work on fixes as needed, but after that he will step away. Must be doing this PC game dev thing wrong because it is way too hard to stay happy and productive, he said. The situation is drawing comments from other industry figures, including Gears of War designer Cliff Blazinski. What do you make of this Bear Simulator situation? Let me know in the comments, or come and find me on Twitter, I'm at HowNotToDraw. Thanks for watching, and for all your gaming and entertainment news, keep it GameSpot.